When you play music, play like a producer. A producer is not only worried about the bass part or the drums part or the guitar part. A producer is worried about how all of those parts work together to serve the big picture of the piece. This is how all the greats play and this is how you should play too. Aim to feel the music deeply with your heart and understand the music deeply with your mind. Not either or, but both. Having a great relative pitch will be one of the main keys to unlock music for you. And in my experience, one of the main keys to unlock a music career as well. When you're playing a solo, for God's sake, try to tell a story. Have sentences, paragraphs, have themes, develop them, give a speech, and don't just talk out of your ass. Never, ever be late to a gig or a rehearsal. No matter how good you are, if you're that late person, you're never gonna work, ever. Learn to play basic piano. Nothing fancy, just the basics, okay? No matter what instrument you play. It will help you with composing, arranging, understanding music. Learn to say no to projects and gigs that no longer serve you in any way. If it doesn't help you grow musically, or pays you money you're happy with, or if it's a good hang with your friends, just say no. You never want to find yourself on a gig for no other reason than your inability to decline. Always opt to playing songs you know by heart. You'll never bring the best of yourself to a musical situation if you have to read, no matter how good a reader you are. Learn to sequence using sequencing software like Logic or Ableton or GarageBand. It will unlock your creative potential as a writer, arranger. It will help you sketch ideas for other musicians and for yourself. When you play music, never play on autopilot or out of muscle memory or habit. Always be present to every single note you play. Learn to write a basic chart, even if it's just chords and bars and sections. You're gonna need this skill to communicate your ideas to other musicians. If you want to get big gigs, take your small gigs very, very seriously, okay? People are watching. People are keeping score and paying attention. The person who's going to take you up a level is often already in your social circle. So trust me, if you want to move on to that next level, do the best you can on your own level. Develop impeccable time. No matter what instrument you play, you should be able to play all by yourself without rushing or dragging. And the tempo and time should be very steady and clear to all. If you want to work in the music industry, you have to be at least a little fun to be around or at least not be a complete drag to be around. Remember, you're working with people and when people get along, good things happen. Be a good hang. Only compare yourself to yourself, not other people. Compare your playing to what it sounded like a year ago, not to what someone else's playing sounds like today. All that matters is that you sound better today than you did, say, a year ago. Well, do you? Remember, practicing is a marathon, not a race. It's much better that you practice 15, 20 minutes a day and seven years from now you're still practicing than if you practice for six hours a day and burn out after a month, okay? The goal is that seven years from now you're still practicing every day or almost every day. So pace yourself. Have a mentor, someone much more experienced than you are. Someone who's done what you're doing and who's been where you are right now. Someone who could help shed some light on this journey of yours and help guide and reassure you in time of need. In music, pay attention to opposites. If you've been playing fast for a while, play slow. If you've been playing loud for a while, play soft. Pay attention to such misbalances and correct for them in real time. If there's a piece of music in your life that you really love, maybe a tune or a solo or a bass line or a lick or any piece of music that you really love, consider it your holy duty to learn how to play that piece of music. 
there shouldn't be any piece of music in your life that you absolutely love that you don't know how to play. Learn how to read at least a little music, even if it's just chord changes and time slashes. Be able to read a basic chart. And while you're at it, you guys, try to have a good time. This is just music. <laughs> Stays on